Hi, it's my time to shine. I'm doing a general love read for my water signs. Um, this was just a really a bonus read because I'm really covered to November the 20th. I was doing a personal private reading, so I decided I wanted to do some love readings for a few signs. Whatever came to my head. I kind of did a tells, up tells type of pick. But I got a feeling I'm going to do just all of the signs. But this reading right here is just basically going to be for um the water signs. So I'm going to get to it. I want to slide my conditions over. Ooh. the cards universe spirit guides angels please give me clarity for the water signs love reading for cancer scorpio pisces cancer scorpio pisces cancer scorpio pisces Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, for my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the first card you got upright is the world. The world basically means things go in cycles and everything is coming to a close. Everything's going great. The world is a great card to get. It just means new beginnings. Everything is going as planned. I don't see nothing bad in this card. It just means everything comes to fruitation. All good, you know, things go in circles. Um, but far as this circle is a positive circle because it's going in your favor. Everything's going in your favor. This was in the past position. The second card you got in your present position is the judgment. The judgment card is everything is being judged. You see, everybody got their hands up basically like it's an angel trumpet from the sky. Basically how it says in the Bible, when God comes through the sky and, went and, and sounds the trumpet and how everybody rises up naked, people don't even realize they let it naked because of God. And when we was born... <clears throat> Here, we didn't have no clothes. We didn't have all this extra stuff. We was naked, you know, basically. So everybody is rising up because it's judgment call. So whatever's going on in the present is about to be judgment for something that's going on. I want to clarify the judgment card for you more clearly. So I want to make sure that we on the same token as far as the judgment card is concerned. Because this is like a... um. A very serious card is ruled by Pluto, the god of the underworld. An angel sounds a trumpet, suggestive of the final judgment. This is a card of transformation. A fresh start is possible. It is time to forgive and forget, or perhaps do some soul searching. A promotion may be in the works. You may be promoted in your job. Um, you got to think about your soul basically telling you it's time for judgment. It's a new beginning, whatever. Maybe you changed your life recently to for the better. You know, maybe you change relationships. You change the way you thought, you think, the way you move. Maybe you change a lot about yourself and it's judgment time because you did it at the right time because it's judgment's time to see, you know, what you did rightfully and what you did wrongly. So basically, this is a positive notation is new beginnings. This card I had for the um, earth signs, which was Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this reading is for the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is your future. 
somebody or something is going to be left out in the cold um basically it's about the five of pentacles when basically it's po it's the card of poverty um somebody's pop somebody's in poverty i don't really know i'm gonna clarify this card but this is the this is the future basically um as you see the woman and the guy is left in the cold i'm not sure if somebody gonna leave you in the cold or maybe in your future you're gonna leave somebody out in the cold we will find out why i'm gonna clarify these cards for you universe spirit god please clarify it gave me i'm gonna just not take that i wasn't ready i should have universe spirit god huh wow make sure these cars is the right way here they is universe spirit guy please clarify the five of pentacles for the water signs cancer scorpio pisces cancer scorpio pisces Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Universe, please clarify the love reading for oh. Okay. The next card that you have is you got the judgment again, but you got the judgment, the judgment in the upright position. So I'm going to tell you what judgment is in the upright position, reverse position. In other words, stop delaying the inevitable. Indecision can lead to missed opportunities. Perhaps you have something in the past that you was about to do or you wanted to do, but it ended up being a missed opportunity because you were sleeping on it or you kept hesitating. You got the hair font in reverse. The hair font usually be a good card. I'm going to clarify what the hair font mean in reverse. The hair font reverse. You are often unconventional and show a disregard for the rules. So maybe you're not following some rules. And uh, maybe that's why this judgment card then came out. They said you have no regards for the rules. I don't know why, what, but they saying no regard for the rules. And um, at the judgment... If you disregard God or the angel rules, he deals with you this type of situation. So, basically, maybe that's why you got it. Because this was an upright, and this is a good card. But this is in your past anyway. But at, in your past, you had the world given to you, and you regarded all the rules. So, maybe in your past, I don't know. We want to clarify it. You also got... The King of Cups. The King of Cups is emotions. With your emotions intact, you see that he got that wand. He makes shit happen. You know what I mean? So, in your future, whatever the case may be, you do make shit happen. And your emotions is in check. I just don't understand where it is leading to right now. So, I'm going to clarify some more things to go forward. Universe, Spirit, God, please clarify for the water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces for the general love read. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What? Right there. Okay. You got the Page of Cups reverse in your past. Now, the Page of Cups reverse. I'm going to tell you. 
is the young person is easily influenced or distracted. Maybe in your past you was distracted because you had the world card, which you had everything going on for you. And then you got the judgment reverse. Basically, you you got you you wasn't really listening too much in the past. I'm gonna read it again for you so you know what I'm talking about. The judgment in the verse is stop delaying. Maybe you was delaying something in your past. And then you got the page of cups. So, like, basically, what I'm seeing is in your past, you was doing, you was bull, you was bullshitting with your life in the past. The young person is easily distracted. So, maybe you was easily to be distracted in your younger life or in your past. You had the world given to you. Everything was right, but you was distracted in your past. That led up to some of this situation because... You got the judgment that says everything was fine, but then you got the her reverse that say you disregard rules, and then you got the nine of swords, which means anxiety, stress, um, and this is your present. Um, you got a lot on your mind. You worrying about something. Maybe nobody don't know, but this is what they're saying. Like you got anxiety. Maybe something from the past putting you into anxiety. You know what I mean? Maybe something going on within you. Um, because right now I don't I can't rule out anything. But you do got the lovers for your future in reverse. Um and the lovers card upright is really a great card. Reverse, I'm really not too sure about a reverse lovers card. Maybe whatever this card directly means, which I'm about to see because I never had it reversed. Maybe whatever this mean have a, a say so or why you got this anxiety going on within you. I'm going to let you know and clarify in one second because I want to see. The lovers, quarrels can lead to separation. Infidelity can lead to marital differences. Be careful not to make hasty unwise decisions or choices. So... With this clarified, this reading turned into what I already knew what I was trying to do anyway was the lovers. In your past, you had the world in your hands. You wasn't listening to really nothing. Even when the trumpets came down and the angels was trying to talk to you, you didn't want to hear nothing in your past. The cup, uh, the page, the cups is emotions. So you still wasn't listening all the way in your past. And the universe just turns your cup outside, upside down, just give you a fish. Because you don't know, you wasn't listening to nothing else. And you know, Pisces is the rule of fish. And that is the water sign. And this is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So Scorpios is a Scorpio. Cancers is crabs. And Pisces is a fish. And y'all all is from the element, you know, of basically water. Because Scorpio, fish, and crabs all love water. So, with this being said, you know, your past was like, you know, the universe was handling you everything. You see? You had everything, even a wand, but you was just turning and doing whatever you want to do. So, I guess now you got everything right, and you know, now he handling you, and you able to talk to the universe about things that you want and things you've done in your past. Maybe you changed your life. But you still disregarding some type of rules. You still not learning something. Something ain't right. Because you under anxiety about something. This could be job, work, or relationship. But this is relationship because that's what I'm doing. And the Clever's card came out to clarify that it's a relationship reading. So you anxiety because of something. You disregarding rules still. Now, somebody going to leave you out on the cold, or perhaps you probably going to leave somebody in the cold in the future because you think you the king and you got that cup and you want to hand somebody your cup because your emotions in check and you got the wine, you make shit happen. But you got the lovers in reverse. Like I said, 
and cheating and quarrels and arguing is leading to some separation this is the future so maybe you being sneaky with the person that you're with maybe you seeing something else that you think is good or and you you doing something that you don't got no business doing because somebody gonna leave you out in the cold i don't think you gonna leave somebody out in the cold i think they gonna leave you out in the cold because you see this woman, she's walking, she got no shoes on, and she's leaving, and you is behind her. So it seems like that she's leaving from this situation. Maybe you thought you was a king, and you was doing what you was doing, and it was just too much arguing and lies and deception, and she just leaving. Y'all both was in the cold, but she just out because she just tired. Because it seemed like that you following her, and she just leaving. So I don't know, but I'm going to clarify this for you so we can see what's going on with your live life, water signs, cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Because y'all love life, life looking a little crazy right now. Somebody leaving somebody in the cold in the future. Somebody's under anxiety right now. And this may be you. This could maybe be your partner. But somebody worried about something. There's somebody disregarding rules. Somebody not listening. Somebody back to their old ways or something. And this person just ain't having it. She'd rather be out in a cold and walk barefooted and away from you. Basically, is what you're seeing. She like, just leave me alone. Like, I'm out. Like, you disregard our relationship rules. You didn't abide by this, this and that. And this person is out. Like, this could be, it's a woman picture, but it could be a man. He just like, she like, I'm out. I'm not dealing with this situation. Even with no shoes, she out. So I'm going to clarify. I want to clarify the Nine of Swords from the Water Signs, Universe, Spirit, Guys, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Y'all got the Ace of Swords reverse. So the Ace of Swords reverse. Let me see. Ace of Swords reverse. The abuse of power can lead to discontent. discontent. Can lead to discontent. Throwing up obstacles in another's path will only cause you embarrassment. We we examine your motives. So maybe you want something slick and that will cause you embarrassment. Maybe... I don't know what, what you... I really don't know what to say about this reading right now. It's kind of confusing. The way you're reading, look to me, is like... Your past, you had everything. And then you start not listening. Something happened. You changed your life. Because you got the judgment. But you still disregarding rules. It's the situation we're here. You not listening to something. And maybe you got somebody in, in, in anxiety. Sorry, everybody. It's like I can't talk well. I guess with this retrograde we got with the moon and all this. But maybe you got somebody in anxiety because you is not listening to the rules. The rules of something, a relationship, something. Some you're supposed to be listening to and you're not paying no mind. Because you got the Ace of Swords. And when the Ace of Swords is in here, you're abusing the power. Like maybe you... You just not paying nothing no mind. Maybe you abusing authority. Maybe you think you could get away with some stuff. And maybe you got maybe a female all stressed out because she's she's worried about you or something. You see her head down like she's just in shame, sadness. I don't know. Just just reading is just a little weird. Like I just did the Capricorn reading. So I'm gonna clarify the lovers reverse. Wow, two of them. Wow, just fell out. You got to ten of cups with happiness, right? Everything you want, kids, all that, right? You got everything. This is a good card. All your emotions in check in the future. So this ain't you, you know, sad. This is somebody that you have sad. But you got the ten of swords. 
Right. See, believe all the blood. It's a rat. Maybe some. Maybe you stab somebody in the back. And this is clarified for your future, because your future, you left somebody out on a cold, or they left you in a cold. And it looked like that somebody leaving you in the cold, maybe. Or maybe you could be leaving somebody in the cold. Maybe this woman could be a man, really. But somebody left somebody in the cold because somebody wasn't listening to authority. Somebody, somebody wasn't listening to the to the rules and everything that's supposed to go on. And this person is leaving you in the cold because you got them worrying and under too much anxiety. They stressing too much over you. Whatever's going on, somebody's stressing over you for some reason because you're abusing the power. So somebody just walking out. And this is your future. Somebody just walking with no shoes on in the cold and you try to stop them and you a little messed up yourself. But they not they don't want to deal with this no more, basically. Because you're not listening to the rules, perhaps. Maybe it's the rules of a job or the rules of a relationship. Maybe your relationship was no no infidelity because this one this card says infidelity and all of that like nobody's listening to the rules and reexamining your motives maybe you had another motive for being with this person and that's why you start acting up and they decide they 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 rolling because you had the king of cup with the wand you make shit happen so maybe you thought you could make shit happen and this and, and they rolling out because they don't want to deal with all of that because you got the lovers in reverse. And lovers in reverse mean cheating, quarrels, fighting, arguing. So maybe whoever you was dealing with, this is this is what was going on. That's why she leaving because she don't got time for all of this. Maybe she rolling. Maybe he left. You still got happiness going on because or maybe Maybe she left you for somebody, or maybe you left her for, or maybe he, her, somebody left for somebody and with the complete happiness. But you got the Ten of Swords after the happiness, so maybe you left somebody out in the cold for somebody else, and you thought everything was going to be all gravy, and it turned something else, and somebody left you out in the cold now. Because for you to get, jump to the Ten of Cups... Happiness and having everything after you left this person out in the cold because you the king and you make shit happen and you was doing deceit and lies and it was a lot of arguing and you decide to leave whoever you was with to go to something that you thought that was going to be happy. It turned out that it's a done deal. That situation is over or this could be the person that she was with is a rap. Like, maybe you really wasn't with them. Maybe it was motives why you was with them. It was a reason you was with them. And now, you don't want to be with them no more. So, you move forward. So, you could go to happiness. And that relationship that you left in the cold is a done deal. So, maybe that's, that, maybe that's what that could mean. So, I want to clarify that the Ace of Swords. Universe, Spirit, God, please clarify the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Love reading. General love reading. You got the Ace of Pentacles perverse. So I want to make sure with the Ace of Pentacles verse. I know what it means, but I want to make sure what it mean for you and this love reading wealth doesn't buy happiness careful are you squandering money needlessly look to the pennies basically it's telling you money don't bring you happiness maybe you being stingy to certain people Maybe that's why this person left you out in the cold because maybe they wasn't stingy to you, but now you acting stingy. And they just got tired of it. And you think you the king now making shit happen and you trying to think who you want to offer your cup after you left this person out in the cold. Maybe this person was there for you 
And that's why they stressing because it was rules that you disregarding because judgment is here. And then you got disregarding rules. Somebody in complete agony, anxiety. And now you got the ace of um, pentacles. Maybe you think money is everything. Maybe why maybe that's why this person left you out in the cold. Because you being you being tight with them. You doing too much. Lovers reverse. Cheating. Deception. Arguing. But you went, you found happiness though. That's one thing I could say. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you rolled out. Because maybe you in that shit. You like I'm done. Also, it could have been in your past. You had you had everything, but you decide to give somebody else a cup. And things start turning from the worst. Maybe things wasn't how you thought it really was. And judgment came on this relationship because you got this in the upright, which is a good card. And the universe giving you blessings. Maybe the person wasn't dealing. Maybe it was. A, maybe it wasn't you. Maybe the person wasn't listening to the rules or listening. You know, what I mean, doing what they supposed to do. Maybe they was breaking the rules, breaking the street code, or breaking, breaking, just breaking shit, just fucking up, fucking up in all ways. They just do too much. Maybe the relationship that you was in was bringing you a whole lot of damn anxiety. And you had to roll out. You had to think how you had to go. You know what I mean? Water size, cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. You probably was in a relationship. This might be you stressing because you was in a crazy relationship and it was time for you to go. And they was breaking all rules. They was doing too much. And they was bringing stress to you. And you had to roll. You know what I mean? You had to get out of there. Yeah, you might was thinking money was everything. Or maybe this person was thinking money is everything and they was being disrespectful because they think that, you know, maybe they think you're supposed to do everything or do everything for them, even though that they're breaking all the rules and bringing stress to you. You left them out in the cold because it was too much stress. It was too much deceit. It was too much arguing. It was no trust. It was just bringing too much to you. And maybe, like, you just left her out in the cold. And, but at the same time, you trying to tell... Maybe you're trying to talk to her and tell her why are you leaving her out in the cold. But she still don't listen. She's still saying what she's saying. She out barefooted. And she had you in the cold with her because she was doing dumb shit. Or he was doing dumb shit. And you like, fuck it. We both out in the cold. I'm not being out in the cold. Maybe you took, Maybe you didn't have to be out in the cold. Maybe you was out in the cold because of this person. Maybe because of your significant other had you out in the cold because of something they did. And you just got fed up. So you went back to your king status and made shit happen. Like, fuck this. I ain't got to be out in the cold with her. She or him, they choose to be out in the cold. I'm out. I know how to make shit happen. So you made shit happen. You got your cup. You like, I got to find me somebody else. You see the stars on your head, on his head. He don't know who he want to give his cup to, but he made some shit happen. Look how he went from out in the cold and his ass with the king status right away. And then you got the lovers reverse. It was arguments, fight, and no trust. Like all of this, you got tired of all of this shit. All this was going on to make you leave her in the cold or him in the cold. And basically, both of y'all was in the cold because y'all was together. But you decide, I'm turning Kane status. I ain't staying in this cold. She could stay in this cold or he could stay in this cold. I know how to make shit happen. I ain't going to be out in the cold this winter. Because of all this argument, mistrust, lying, deceit. So you turned around and got your shit in order and got your emotions in check. And now you got the Ten of Cups. You like, fuck it. I'm going to get my loving and or get my life in a new destination. I'm going to get a whole new life. And you said, hey, I'm not in the cold. That's on her. You was trying to get her out the cold. Because it looked like you chasing her, trying to tell her, like, listen, it ain't about that. You was trying to explain to her why we out in the cold. And she's still not listening or he not listening. So you bounced. 
because it was too much arguments and shit anyway. And at the end of the day, you were king. You was just being like how you was because of that person, and you bounced. You said, I'm tired of the arguing. I'm tired of the fussing. I'm just tired of this shit. So you went to happy motherfucking waters, and you did that bullshit. That's what I see. So basically, you left somebody out in the cold, basically, because they they was on bullshit. It was just always something, and you got tired of it. And the Ten of Swords is the end. And you went forward, and you went and got your cup of happiness and fulfillment, and you good now. And that's when my Cancer Scorpio Pisces, y'all rolled the fuck out. I, it could have been a week ago, a couple years ago, and somebody don't want to see you happy. Universe, Spirit, God, please clarify this reading for um, the water signs. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Chakra cleaning, cleaning. That's what these candles is. I keep telling people, chakra cleaning will clean out all that evil stuff that whoever you was with, you got to get them out your system. You got to go meditate so you could get them from off of you. Call upon me to clear open your chakras using sacred shapes. I'm trying to tell you, you got to get, you got to open your spirit up, your head chakra, your heart chakra, all of it, your, your solar plex. You got to open your chakras because if you don't open your chakras, people could still get into your mind, your body and soul and have you like a slave. You got to clear them out of you. It don't matter. It don't matter. It could be somebody you got a child by. It could be your ex-girlfriend. could be an uh, ex-lover you never even had was intimate you got to clear your chakras out of everybody that ever touched you or you ever had any intimacy with. I did. I cleared my chakras. That's why nobody could go and try to put nothing on me to have a love spell on me to have me go back to them. Like, and people have done that to me. And I know it because I'm real wise and I had to get myself clean because people put some love spells on me and had me kept going back it ain't about no whipped and all that people call it people and men they sit around and do love spells people do things you got to clear your chakras to get away from these devils i'm trying to tell you black magic is evil like i know how to do black magic but i only would ever do black magic if it comes to a certain point Black magic is evil, and love spells is a part of black magic. Because if you can't get a person to love you for you without putting an ice cube in a freezer and all that crazy stuff and getting a dial and with another dial, it is deeper than you ever could imagine what black magic is. Some of that stuff I be looking at, like people really be doing this shit, they really do. You go get grave dirt, mix it with a with with a vegetable, all, all types of shit. I'm trying to tell you. But if you clear your chakras, they couldn't come at you. They can't come at you at all. It goes back to them. I'm telling you, you got to learn chakras. And men and girls and ladies, old people, a lot of people know about this. So you got to clear them. Fuck reading. Reading ain't going to clear your chakras. You got to get on there, fold your legs in half, and talk to your spirits and learn chakra. Because it's hard. Learn to meditate for three, four hours with no noise. When you get to that point, nothing can bother you because nothing can bother me, yo. People do get to me, but that it's only for about 15 seconds. And then I'm back normal. It don't work no more with me. The next person that's going to touch me, I'm not trying to have the need to clear my chakras. Because his vibes is going to be so good, I'm not going to worry about anything. You got to worry about who you let, excuse my language, ejaculate in you. That is a part of chakras. You letting the evil go inside of you. That goes for men that go down on women. You got to be careful. I'm really keeping it real, yo. I'm telling you. Because chakras is serious. You let somebody in your... Whoa. You let somebody in your space and they tear your life up. You got strength. Capricorn, excuse me. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Y'all got strength. You are hereby declared a strong, resolute warrior of, proper, of propositions. Enjoy your battles, whatever they are, because you're guaranteed to come through them stronger, brighter, and more compassionate. 
and based on what I know, probably with gray hair and great hair and a six pack strength you got the strength card so something going on where you need strength and it may be because you got tired of the bullshit it was bringing a lot of stress to you somebody was disrespecting the rules or whatever the situation is you might have told somebody listen this is how we going to deal with something this is what you stop doing that stop doing this and they kept doing it and it brought all trouble and anxiety to you you like fuck it i am done I can't take no more. And you left the motherfuckers out in the cold. But before you left them, you still was trying to grab them and try to talk to them and tell them, like, yo, we don't got to be in the cold. They don't got to be like that. But they ain't listen. So you said, I'm done. You went to your king shit. Start making shit happen. Because you like, I ain't walking around here barefoot in the cold with her. That's on her or him. You got the king status and figuring out who else to give your cup to. Somebody with emotions. Because your shit is in check. You got tired of the argument, the cheating, the lying, the betrayal, the deceit. You said, I'm done with this shit. This is my Cancer Scorpio Pisces. You just done. You said, I with the happiness. Fuck all this. You happy. All your emotions are checked. You don't give two shits about that person now. And you dead it. And it tell you to clean. Clear as that, your chakras. They got to be clean. Get them people off of you. And then you got strength because you still probably dealing with something with this person. They don't know how to let go, but it's over. It's a done deal. They got to let you go. I hope all be well with you. And this was your love reading.